Yo, welcome back everybody. Today we have gameplay from Zephyrus, and this is uh this is showing off the power of Witchwing. Because we talk about Calicos boards all the time and how slow they are. If you get one Calicos, it's not viable. But with Witchwing back in the game and the ability to print out tons of free battle cries, a lot of doors open up. Pair it with a couple synergy cards, such as a Bran, maybe a Battle Cry Dragon, and suddenly you're printing tons and tons of free stats per turn and leveling to the moon. The biggest weakness of dragons is it's too slow. Which wing comes in to fix that? All right, enjoy. Anybody out there know how to make a turtle appear in chat? Perfect, Mock Thugger. Thank you. There you go, Niff. You got your emote. Ah, Lee. He my dog. I'm still doing circles around the room, so, like, he's just sitting there watching her. Needs more shaking. Make it even shakier. Yeah, like I said, this doesn't work well with spawn. That uh, being said, I'm still going to do it. We're still just going to go find more undead at a later point. Play the good cards. Aww. So how does this work? So we got a couple options here is that we buy up spawn and eternal night and we just have a nice board that line will probably play on three next turn roll twice look for thing triple into five the next turn if we try to keep the gambler on the board which is the next option we do the same curve but we keep the gambler and in that way, we can level and we try to take a six instead of a five. And I think in this game, sixes is just better. And as Zeph, it's probably way better. Hello, good afternoon, sir. I'm here to peruse your finest of meme comps. Well, sir, I think we can we can satisfy that that craving. All you got to do is look over here real quick. This right here is a Zephyrus board. Not quite Mimi yet, but but soon. Soon to be Mimi. Mm, love these cards. We could, instead of playing toward a six star, now consider maybe Gym Splitter, Bronze Ward, and Banner Bore stuff like this. Just nice three stars. Just nice cards. So I take my triple into a six. What are the good hits? Obviously, Undead in general in this lobby. Tethys in this lobby. Even Charlie's reasonable. Callie's a little slow. Murlocs are pretty slow. Murloc singular is pretty slow. If there are about five or six good hits on six, that's uh, probably worth doing a Zef. Oh shit. Gambler. Buy the gambler. Play the gambler. Buy the gambler. Play, play the gambler. Only other option really worth considering there is that you can freeze the gambler. Buy the gambler level, do nothing, and then you have the second pair. The problem is you can't take the triple into a six the next turn because you have to break the gambler pair. And that's just kind of bad, considering. Mm-hmm.
I'll take it. Perfect. Happy birthday, Bofer. 25 looks good on you. Oh, thanks, Wilbur. 25, huh? I'm aging down now. That works. Pretty okay with aging in reverse. All right, never mind. I want the gambler back. Can I have gambler, please? Never mind. We don't need gamblers. Everything's fucking great. Which wing is a lot better than a gambler? Can I offer you an egg in these trying times? Wait, we lose this round? Say it ain't so. Do nothing turn seven? Worse than Panda Agam Ten Tens? Whoa, no way. Beautiful though. Alright, well, just kill this thing somehow. Double proc witch wing, let's go. Chat needs an epilepsy warning for real. Cell three, get this one too. Hero power. Okay. But like, nah. Hi, Tess. What would you like? Would you like a fort? Would you like a zap? Maybe a calicos? I think Tess would like a nice little calicos for the board. Hmm. I don't think I'm sitting still. I don't, care. I don't think I care that much about this either. Which wing synergy with Calicos? Yeah, it's a lot better now. Talked about Cali being too slow. It may still be too slow, but once we found the Witch Wing, printing out a free battle cry ish per turn, if not two, if we get lucky. Then I'm pretty okay with that. My cat hears your voice and runs to the room so he can stare at the dogs on the TV. They learn so quickly. I'm capable of seeing dogs right now. It is time. All right, well, double procs cool. Dracoseth's really cool. Let's just trim down damage as best we can. That's not bad. Enjoy your Cali. I would take 15 rather than feeding Tess. I don't think she really wants Callie. Callie's really hard to play into if you don't have tools to be able to enable it. Hmm. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Chase me if you want. Tess. But I think we got a better line. I don't think I'm going to be able to get this. So I just want to do it this way. Should be fine for the turn, right? I don't really want to commit Nadina yet. I want to scale the board first. What? How are we not okay for the turn? It's turn nine. Our board has 40-40. 
All right, maybe I'm underestimating how powerful people can get quickly in this patch. But like, I don't expect to lose to a person that's dropped the one health with 40-40 on the board on turn nine. Well, we can still just get lucky. I did not expect to lose that round. Turn nine, this board. Then again, like, it's okay. It's fine. As long as we just play next one out for tempo. It'll be fine. He's a poo. It'll be fine, Copium. It'll be fine. I can cope with the best of them, chat. I don't care about using that triple. It's too expensive. I have one left. Golden Cali seems like the play. Do I think he's strong enough to beat us? No way in hell, right? If I commit Nadina. Never. No. Madge, no. Couldn't happen. Can't happen, chat. If we commit Nadina, we're fine. I don't want to commit Nadina because I want to be able to scale outward on the board. But we're just going to have to break up beat immediately. It's fine. It's not the end of the world. Game's not long enough to really take it for two more turns anyway. Match. <laughs> Push the button. Put the cards on the table. Push him into the middle. What if we take the town and push it somewhere else? Mm-hmm. 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 That'll do, donkey. That'll do. Not only will it do, it will lethal. Not Golden Bran. I think it's Golden Cali in this scenario. Golden Bran is arguably, arguably is good. If the game is short, I think it's Golden Cali over Golden Bran. Definitely close though. Two times and two times versus one time and three times. The only big difference is like cards like this potentially could create another triple. And that makes it somewhat interesting with the brand. Otherwise, stats wise, this is way better. Especially when we only have a four minion board. Give the pirates stats. Here, have more stats. I can't, man. <laughs> yeah, we can get poison scammed out of this game, but I can't commit Nadina when we have five people alive. Yeah, that's about right. That's pretty big. Mm-hmm. 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 All right, we out here murdering folks. There is an argument here for what it's worth. 
to commit Nadina because if we kill Tess, then Tess isn't a problem, but it's one Tess taking 15. This is what we talked about before. That Tess, while she can steal our shit, is probably not an issue. Because she can't do it nearly as fast as we can, and we're ready here. Leave the five star on the board at the end. We talked about it from the beginning. <laughs> What's going to win this game? A high roll. Say it ain't so, Bofer. But really, none of the tribes are like glaringly OP in this lobby. They don't like synergize super well together. Dragons, Murloc, Pirate, Quillbore, Undead. Whenever you see Quillbore and Mech together, they tend to do gross things. Beast, Murloc do gross things. But it was really going to be somebody that hit, hit the shit real early. Turn eight with adequate setup is the absolute limit. You can go with Calicos. Turn nine's a no-no. Yeah, I mean, like a single Calicos isn't going to get you there, period. You can get it turn six. It's not going to really do much. But if you can be on five with Calicos early, then you can get, you know, brand duo, whatever it might be. And then you're just like way, way faster than these kind of boards. It's really the, the duo effect, the multiplier effect, right? Duo existing, brand existing. We just get two times, two times, two times. Get the golden Calicos, get the golden brand, go, get the duo for the second copy of something. Obviously our hero power is nasty here. That one single Calicos isn't, just isn't competitive. And he was on four at the time. He couldn't even leave four. He just bought battle cries and said, fuck it. I'm going to steal those dragons. So we got indication that somebody has cyborg drakes because it's got to be one of these two, but very likely this guy. Because how else would Tess have them? Dina only shields three. Sure. But like, you want to order differently? Oh, do you think the, the taunted thing not going to, I didn't see the other question. Yeah. Nadina got nerfed like two months ago. Give three friendly dragons divine shield now. So just final minion. Play battle cries. Get big. Against ghost, we probably sit still so we don't waste gold. Cycle through. Oh, that's not true. We, we won't play this. I'm not saying. All right, now we sit still. Two extra gold for next turn. Should hit reply? No, 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 no. You're good. I just, you know, when you pick random comments out of chat, from time to time, it'll become, well, not even from time to time, consistently throughout the day, I'm going to misinterpret what people say. It's never intentional. We just leave with you going, Bofer, that's not what I meant, and me thinking you're an idiot, you know, like this all. <laughs> that's why I make the comment from time to time that I never, I never connect, I never connect the person with the comment because there's really absolutely no reason to try to draw conclusions on, on anybody and anything anybody's saying in chat because we're just so disconnected from the actual like the actual meaning or the actual intent in a lot of these scenarios. That's not a bad board. Like for example, yesterday I was talking at the end of the stream with a bunch of people about things that were in WoW Classic. And the conversation was like on Enhancement Shaman or whatever. On it being one of the more difficult specs. Did not even notice that the person I was talking to happens to be the Enhancement Shaman in my guild. Who plays this at a very, very high level. <laughs> that the person that was making some of the comments was literally the person that I go to as an authority on the subject. Did not connect. <laughs> He told me later, and I was like, oh, yeah. Shit. <laughs> Did not see that one. This card pretty good to be on the board when you're brand. Aw, got two turns. At a certain point, we level. I think that point is next game, but, you know, it's fine. 
You think stats are completely irrelevant in this game for the last guy? If so, we could consider just playing... through everything this turn. I think we should read that. I didn't even realize there were one fives. Who played those battle cries through? All right, well, let's see how this one plays out. Probably not optimal. All right, doesn't look bad. Looks like we get there. Shouldn't have used both blood gems on the, the Leroy. If I gotten out of ghoul range, I could have made it so Zap hit it instead of Nadina. I thought they were 1-1, one -one, so I needed it up at, uh, at 4 health. I'm glad we committed. That Murloc board is the scariest thing to us. Madge! The best card! We're Bran! We're scaling turn. Maybe we don't die. Oh, maybe we just get Nadina immediately. You want to untaunt Nadina? Nah. Yeah, I got you. This health is going to make a difference. <laughs> oh, shit, man. Things got big. Scrap Scraper bugged and it threw my game. Nature of, of playing an online game. I get you. I do. I empathize, but at this point, we know the bugs exist. Now you do too, and you can play around them. Does it suck? Yeah. Shouldn't have bugs. But now we know. How do you play around it, Bofer? You mostly don't. You just complain about it. It's kind of the way. Kind of the way I like to do it. Scrap scraper. What a card. Hmm. Good thing our first game didn't log. Naturally. <laughs> Never the good games.